for those new here who haven't figured out, we are married and we are both chiropractors and we often get asked about mattresses and sleeping and all the things. So we are gonna do a multi-part series so make sure that you're following along to answer some of your questions about sleep, mattresses, pillows, all the things that you guys keep asking us. So Dr. Todd Wolter is the aficionado as far as mattresses, knowing all of the things. And then we will stay tuned because I will tell you which mattress that we sleep on. You guys always ask this. So when it comes to picking a mattress, what should people look for? Like what's the best, what's the best mattress? Yeah, it's a bit of a trick question. The best mattress is the best mattress for you. It's going to be one that keeps your spine in the best possible alignment based on how you sleep for balancing out that process of firmness to keep your spine in good alignment, softness to not create pressure points. Are there better mattresses for women versus men? I don't know about that. Generally, women are going to have a better sleep on slump thing, but usually a little softer, uh, but not particular brand of mattress. And then what does it mean if I am waking up and I have back pain? Like my back has been fine all day, I go to bed, and then I'm waking up with back pain. Yeah, it's usually time for a good mattress, a new mattress, right? I always call it the, the hotel test, right? Like if you go sleep somewhere and you're like, wow, that was a great mattress, then it's time for a new mattress. Your bed should be the most comfortable bed in the world to you. I did like the one bed at that hotel. Like that was a Tempur-Pedic and normally I don't like Tempur-Pedic. This is not sponsored or unsponsored by anything. We're just giving the honest reviews people. Um, normally that hasn't been a brand that I had liked in the past. I shouldn't have name dropped there, but we did stay at a hotel recently and they had that kind of mattress and I, I loved it. And I was not too hot as a middle-aged woman, which is one of the things that you'll hear about with some of those foam mattresses is they can get kind of hot. Foam mattresses have changed drastically over the years, right? Like the brand you mentioned obviously is one of the foremost mentioned names, but most companies- We've already talked about it now. Most, so. most companies make a foam mattress nowadays, but they're doing a lot of like layering different types of foams, even adding supports and springs into those foams, which have really changed how those mattresses work. So. I usually think the first thing you have to figure out is just that question, right? Like what type of sleep system do you prefer? Cause they all do feel a little different. Inner spring mattress versus an air system versus a foam mattress. And now there's a fourth category, what we call hybrid, uh, where they're mixing inner spring and foam or air system and foam together. So what is the best one for backs? Yeah, <laughs> again. Trick question, right? There's not. Is it is it a trick question? It is a trick. You're a chiropractor. Is that really? Is a trick it a trick question? question right? I'm a like, chiropractor. Yeah, too, like but. there's lots of brands that I love, but it ha it has more to do with the attention to detail that they give to the product, not that that product is exactly going to be the right mattress for everybody. It's like shoe sizes or shoes, right? Like what the right shoe for me is may not be the right shoe for you. Our bodies are all a little different, and their needs are going to be a little different. So. You got to figure that system piece out first. I usually recommend just taking an afternoon uh, and go and laying on them. Uh, that's going to be the best way to say, yeah, I like how that feels versus that one. Okay, but now that brings up a good point because so many people, like there's so many of these companies now that you just order online and then it's giving you 60, 90 days, whatever it is, a trial period. So you can't really go lay on them. They're kind of coming to your house. So some of those brands that you get online. Thoughts on those? Uh, just do your homework. Make sure that at home trial, they have a reasonable at home trial. Look closely at what that return policy is. You know, are you going to lose some of that money? But uh, bed is a really important investment, right? Hopefully, you're going to get a good eight hours of sleep. Hopefully, that mattress is going to last you eight to 10 years, if not longer. You're talking about something that's going to have a huge impact on your quality of life, a huge impact on your health it's worth the time and the investment to make sure you end up with the right thing. Yeah, it definitely is an investment. I mean, mattresses are so expensive, but like you said, they're gonna last a while. And as far as like sleep, it's just really a foundation of your health. So you do, there are certain things we'll say, hey, you can save your money here. 
a mattress is not one of them. You want to make sure that you are investing in a good quality mattress. What about the, you know, organic and some of the off gassing? Is that something to consider? Absolutely something to consider, especially, you know, all of the mattresses are probably going to have some degree, unless they're specifically an organic, they're going to have compounds in them that are going to off gas. Highly recommend. I actually had this with a patient the other day, came in and he was like, I think I might be allergic to mm. the topper that he, he had. And I'm like, it's a possibility that you are, but the most likely thing is, is you're actually just reacting to the off gassing that's happening. What I told him to do is just, hey, either find somewhere where you can put it outdoors for a week or two, put it in a room that you're not using, open the windows up, let that thing breathe. And he came back a couple weeks later and he was like, yeah, you're absolutely right. Was able to use it after that. It was just the chemical off gassing that was happening. So definitely something to consider in your in that purchase process. So you brought up another question for me. So you mentioned a topper. So what if somebody's mattress is old, can they just, or it's just not comfortable for them? Do you ever recommend just going out and getting like a topper to yeah. help? Yeah, it's a possibility, right? The question becomes, is the mattress too soft or too hard? It's a simple test before you go invest. I like I call it the egg crate test. I'm usually like, go buy the really cheap egg crate topper, throw it on your bed. If you find that that, that is more comfortable for you, then your bed is probably a little too firm for you, right? The alternative test is run to Home Depot, grab a sheet of... Uh, plywood and slip some plywood in between the mattress and box spring, which should stiffen it up. If that makes it a whole lot better, then you need something firmer. Oh dear. You've told people that? Do they do that? Yeah, absolutely. I did all the sleep on plywood. Well, you're not sleeping on the plywood. It's between the mattress and the box spring, but it makes it a whole lot stiffer. You know, and if someone's, again, you're trying to figure out, I'm going to invest thousands and thousands of dollars potentially in a new mattress. You want to know what you're looking for. So what if the plywood just fixed it? Should they just do that? They don't even need a new mattress then. It's not a great. It. It's not a great long-term solution. You might have just given. You may just might have just given them a hack. You might have just saved them <laughs> thousands right there. Well, it's it, it is a band-aid at best, right? It's gonna okay, buy you. Some, it's buying you some time to then go find a good mattress, as opposed to you're hurting every day. You run out, and then you end up buying not the right mattress for you because you're struggling, right? Like we don't want that, right? Like we don't want you to have to make a a rash purchase, you know, when it comes to a mattress.